In most parts of the country with the new codes, you're now required to install a fire sprinkler system in a new home. On today's episode, I'm gonna give you the basics of the fire sprinkler system we're installing here. I'm coming to you from a new house our company's building in a jurisdiction that requires fire sprinklers. And I thought I'd use this house as a backdrop to tell you about the system. So you see here these ceiling pipes that are orange. These are the fire sprinklers for the house. And each one of the heads in the house is gonna cover approximately a 12 by 12 area. So in this big master bedroom, you'll see we actually have three heads in this room to cover properly the entire room. Now your smoke detectors in the house, those are tied together so that when one smoke detector goes off, they're all gonna go off. The fire sprinkler system, on the other hand, is controlled individually by each head, and it's heat that's gonna set these off and not smoke. So don't worry about candles or burning fish on the stove. None of that is gonna set off your fire sprinkler system. Only the heat getting up to the proper temperature is gonna do it. Let's take off this construction cover and see what this looks like. Now this is a concealed head, so once the drywall gets hung and the contractor comes back to finish the system off, your only thing you're gonna see here is a metal disc that's about three inches in diameter to the ceiling. All the sprinkler head is concealed in here. And the system that makes these go off is pretty cool. There's gonna be a glass tube in here that has an alcohol in it. That alcohol is temperature sensitive, so when it gets to 150 degrees, that alcohol expands and breaks the glass tube. The glass tube is holding a plug in place which holds back the water pressure and now that plug when it falls out is gonna let that water flow and each individual head is gonna cover about a 12 uh, by 12 diameter area and be able to extinguish that fire. They say that these sprinkler heads can put out uh, most fires in about 90 seconds or less so it's gonna happen pretty quick. The other thing I like about this system is that they're not interconnected meaning if this head goes off the whole house isn't gonna go off, only a head that reaches that temperature. Now, if we had a raging fire in this room, probably all three of these heads would go off, but if we had a smaller fire where that fire was just in one room, the rest of the house is not gonna go off. It has to get to that temperature at this individual head. Pretty cool. Hey, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for a website if you want more information about this, but don't be afraid of fire sprinkler systems. They're pretty impressive systems. They're installing millions of these worldwide, very, very reliable. This is a system that's probably coming to a new home near you. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.